<gasps> Hello everyone, dear friends. The weather is just wonderful outside today. I wonder what adventures await me today? What? I think Mikey's coming to me. Mikey, it's open. Hi Mikey, how are you? Hi JJ, everything is fine. I have an idea. Let's build a cartoon cat and train eater today. Wow, Mikey, the idea is really great. Okay, I agree. But first, let's welcome our dear viewers. Of course, JJ, go ahead. Hello, everyone, dear friends. Mikey and I are going to build a cartoon cat and train eater today. Are you ready, Mikey? Of course, JJ. Then we're starting. Special construction. It's time for the construction to begin. As usual, I start with the selection of materials. I'm taking an anvil for future rails, as well as wooden half blocks for sleepers. Plus, I take redstone blocks of red concrete, red concrete steps, quartz steps, and blocks of coal. I think that's enough. It's time to start. With the help of an anvil, I plan the rails for our train eater. With this, I can roughly figure out what size the monster will be. Now, with the help of wooden half blocks, I make sleepers. Now, I'm starting to build a frame with red concrete. I'll fill it out later, as usual. Friends, tell us in the comments what you know about the train eater. I don't know much. I heard that he lives in the subway, also rides on rails, and preys on trains with passengers. I use quartz steps to make teeth, and I start filling the frame with concrete. The frame is ready. Now, I'm making a redstone mouth background and complementing it with blocks of black concrete. It's time to make legs for the train eater. I believe that the more legs a monster has, the scarier it looks. I put steps on the bottom so that the legs are smoother and also add them at the base of the legs to the knees and other corners. Now, with the help of a quartz block, I'm making eyes for our train eater. He has a lot of them, and they are located randomly. I think it also makes our monster look terrifying. I definitely make pupils in my eyes. and I repeat the same thing from the other side. Now, I'm making an entrance to our cabin. I put a couple of blocks and put a ladder on them. I take a glowstone and light up everything inside. To make it look more beautiful, I will put steps. Now it's time to pick up furniture and figure out how it will stand. To begin with, I put up the bed as usual. It's red today. There is a bedside table and a lava lamp near the bed. I don't forget about the decorations. I want to put them in this corner. Today, I chose these lilac leaves. On this side, I put a closet all over the wall. And opposite there are diamond chests with a beautiful pattern. There will be a chest edge in the middle. I'll leave the stoves and the workbench in the same way. I'm hanging a clock on the wall. And I put a beautiful striped carpet. I'll move the clock to another place. It turned out to be cozy. It's time to look from the outside. Yes, it seems to have worked out perfectly. I wonder how Mikey's doing. 
Where should I start? Today, I'm going to build a cartoon cat. So I'll start with his feet. With the help of semi-blocks, I make footsteps. And now, from the blocks of coal, I keep my feet up. I hope my building will be big and very tall. It seems that this is where it needs to be completed. I'm making a small platform. I will build the body of the cat itself on it. As usual, I make the frame first, and then I will fill it with blocks. It turns out to be such a rectangle. I'm doing great! Today it is also a very convenient building. Don't take many blocks. I hope it won't be difficult. I'm almost done. Now I indicate where the neck and shoulders will be located. I'm getting to the hands. With the help of charcoal steps, I make the shoulders smoother. And now, I'm putting my hands down. I also use semi-blocks of quartz and quartz steps to make my hands. Now, on the other side. There's half of it. There's not much left. It's time to get to the head. I first outline the shape of the mouth, then I'll make a red background for it. And now I'm making scary teeth for our cat out of white quartz steps. With the help of luminous blocks, I make eyes. I think if they glow, they will look more scary. I frame my face and pupils with black blocks of charcoal, and I keep building my head further. This time, the building turns out to be large enough to accommodate a large house inside. For volume, I add another layer of blocks on top of the head. Now I'm making ears for our cat, using conventional blocks and steps made of coal. I use the gray steps to make a spout, and it seems everything is ready. It turned out well. Now I'll be waiting for JJ. Meanwhile... Yes, it turned out to be a great building. I'm going to take a look at Mikey's construction. Wow. It's just a wonderful building. Your cartoon cat turned out to be so tall. Your building is bigger than mine again. You're studying well. I really like. Will you show me what's inside? Of course, JJ. Follow me. Great. The stairs are almost imperceptible. And to climb so high. Wow. There are so many books here. It looks very beautiful. I especially like the lamps standing right on the bookshelves. Oh, it's very cozy here. I like the way the eyes light up the house inside. And the paintings are just great. I know how much you like dancing on the bed. So the bed is just wonderful. <laughs> Thanks, JJ. I tried very hard. Let's go take a look at your building soon. I think you did well too. I can't wait to see it. Wow, JJ. What a good train eater you've turned out to be. He really looks scary. Well done. You'll show me what's inside. Of course, Mikey. The entrance is from the back. Yes, I can see the stairs. Let's go quickly. JJ, you are a great builder. It's very cozy here. Cool carpet. But most of all, as usual, I like the bed. <laughs> thank you, my friend. And thank you, friends, for being with us today. I hope you enjoyed our adventures today. Mikey, I think it's time for us to go home. Yes, JJ. I think it's time to go to bed. Bye-bye. Good night to you.
Thanks for watching, friends. Subscribe and like. And also, don't forget to click on the bell so that you don't miss new videos. Bye bye. <gasps>《Hello everyone, dear friends! The weather is just wonderful outside today! I wonder what adventures await me today? What? I think Mikey's coming to me! Mikey, it's open! Good morning, Mikey! What are we gonna do today? Good morning, JJ! I have a good idea! Let's build a skibidi toilet and choo-choo, Charles! Wow, Mikey, the idea is really great! Okay, I agree! But first, let's welcome our dear viewers! Of course, JJ, go ahead! Hello everyone, dear friends! Today, Mikey and I are going to build Skibidi Toilet and Choo Choo Charles! Are you ready, Mikey? Of course, JJ! Then we're starting! Special Construction! It's time to start building! I'll pick up the materials first! I take a hell of a brick in dark and light shades! Of course, I take red and white concrete! I'll also take black, as well as quartz blocks and quartz steps! It seems that this is enough time to start. I start the construction with infernal concrete. With his help, I'm starting to make a framework for our Charles. I additionally use a light infernal brick to make everything look more beautiful. I also add red concrete a little higher up. I like that the building will be in similar colors, and I think it will look realistic. Now I'm marking our monster's face with white concrete, and it seems I've forgotten something. Definitely redstone. With redstone, I outline the terrible mouth of our monster. Then I will make a black background for the mouth and white teeth from quartz steps. I always do this, and it turns out well. Now, I use quartz to mark my eyes, as I usually do. And I'm building up extra holes in my face. And I keep working with red concrete. After all, our Charles is predominantly red. I will make a pipe here in the future. And through it, there will be an entrance to my house. It's just a pity it won't be possible to climb into it on the ground. And you will have to turn on the creative mode to fly into this pipe from above. Now, from this pipe, I can navigate how to build further. I'm starting to build a framework, and it seems to take a very long time. So I take a magic wand and write a command in the command line. Yes, it turns out much faster, but some things will still have to be completed manually. The command line will not be able to make such reliefs. I can also use a magic wand from the side. Yes, despite my life hacks, I still have to work quite a lot with my hands. But I'm doing great! After all, I am a professional in large buildings. Friends, tell us in the comments, do you often build such large buildings in Minecraft? I continue to frame the lower part of the train with a hell of a brick. I put the dark one first, then I'll put the red one on and put the dark one on the bottom too. All these manipulations with different colors of blocks help to make the building more realistic and beautiful. Yes, you have to work a lot with your hands here too. But actually, I really like it. With black concrete, I add a small detail under the face. Now I'm starting to build a driver's cabin out of a dark infernal brick. Also, as usual, the edges will be made of dark brick, and I fill the frame with a lighter brick. I also plan a window for the driver, but I won't put the glass there, because we still have a monster and not a real train. I continue to make the frame of the driver's cabin out of dark infernal bricks. Yes, Charles will turn out to be very big. Most of the work is done. 
To facilitate the construction, I use the magic wand and the command line again. By writing out the coordinates, I make a roof for the driver's cabin. To also add realism, I'm making it three-step. I will also use a magic wand to fill the frame of the driver's cabin. After all, the building turned out to be huge! Friends, tell us in the comments, do you use the command line for your buildings in Minecraft? I'm finishing the back wall. There's not much left. I outline the driver's window again with a dark infernal brick. Windows should be on all sides, so I also make them on the right and left. Now, I take the black concrete and start making wheels for Charles. After all, he's a steam train. I'm almost done. There are two wheels left. Now, with the help of the Hellstone, I'm mapping out the places where our Charles's legs will grow from, and I'm starting to build them. I put steps made of hellstone at the bottom of my legs so that my legs look smoother. In fact, the construction of legs is also a very long process. It's a pity that it can't be accelerated with a magic wand, but I think we shouldn't skip this stage because Charles doesn't seem so scary without his legs. Now I'm making an outline for Charles' eyes. And I don't forget about his pupils. Yes, it turned out to be terrifyingly scary. I think I'm good at monsters. Now, inside the train, I also make the floor with a magic wand and red concrete. Inside, you can build just a huge house. In some places, I manually fix the walls so that they are more even. Now, I'm putting a ladder inside the pipe. I've finished with the stairs, and now I'm making an enchanted room. After all, we have a very large house and it will fit comfortably. There is an enchanted table in the middle and books on the sides. Yes, the room turned out to be very large. Now, as usual, I'll leave the decorations. I make them from an anvil and foliage on top. This time, I'm using green foliage. I will definitely put a bed. Today, I have it in red in the color of my building. I also continue to decorate the sides on top. I think it looks more beautiful this way. What else is there to build inside? I'll put a lot of cabinets on this side. They look really cool. I'm putting a mirror on this side. Now there is a cooking rack and a boiler. In general, everything you need for the game. I'll leave a reservation stand on this side. And I put diamond armor on them. I always hang a picture above the bed. And I'm laying a cool carpet. It seems to be ready. I'm going to take a look at how it all looks from the outside. Yes, it turned out well. I wonder if Mikey has finished his construction yet. I can finally start building. Where should I start? Today, I'm building a Skibidi toilet. I have never done such a construction before. I start building from the base of the toilet itself. I do it with the help of white concrete. I've seen JJ do this before. I'll try again. I usually build completely different characters, and it's unusual for me to build such a toilet. I hope I do well. I have already started the foundation of the toilet, and I put white concrete in a circle. Friends, whose head do you think I should build inside? I'm starting to build the toilet up. I hope it turns out to be high. Now I'm doing an extension. Next, 
I will build wider and wider to make it look like a real toilet. I've seen JJ do that. Here, I designate the toilet seat with white concrete to make everything look like in real life. I want the building to be good, and I'm doing pretty well. Now, I'm making a toilet lid. First, as usual, I make the case, and then I fill it out. I fill it as if from behind so that the lid turns out to be voluminous. Now, I'm building a toilet tank at the back of the toilet. As usual, I make a frame first, as if it were the base as usual. I make a frame first, as if it were the basis for future construction. And then, I'll fill it out. It is very convenient that the whole building can only be made of white concrete, although I will make the head from other materials, hehe. <laughs> I hadn't thought of that at all. In any case, it seems to me that the construction is still very easy. Even considering that I have never built such a thing. I also make the lid of the tank more voluminous for realism. And now, I'm starting to build a head inside the toilet. Since this is my head, I use green concrete. I start with the neck. First, I build a square like this. And then, I will continue it a little bit up and down to the ground. As usual, I first made the frame, and now I'm filling it out. I think I'm doing well. Now I'm making a head frame, and it's going to be square too. I'll fill it out later. Now, with the help of red and black concrete, I will outline the mouth. It should be similar to mine, and it really seems to be working. I have eyes here. I outline them in the same way with black concrete. Now I'm filling in the head frame. I fill the toilet with water so that everything will be like in real life. And it seems to be ready. I think I like how it turned out. The construction really turned out to be simple. When is JJ coming? Yes, it turned out to be a great building. Now how's Mikey doing? Wow, Mikey, it's a great building. She's so big. I'll tell you a secret, even higher than mine. I don't understand how you managed all this, but it turned out very well. You are a good builder. Show me how everything is inside. Of course, JJ, follow me. Did I understand correctly? Is your head up there? Well done. Well, show me how everything works here. Here I have everything, a boiler, a hob, cupboards, and a bed. Great, Mikey. It's very cozy here. I like, come on, I'll show you my building now. Yes, let's go quickly. I can't wait to see her. Wow, JJ. What a big Charles you've got! Your building is huge! The train is simply gigantic! Let's go quickly and see what's inside! Mikey, the entrance is through a pipe. Fly right in from above. You've come up with an interesting JJ! Wow! You've got a wonderful house inside! Such a big enchanted room! And cabinets all over the wall! The decorations deserve praise! Thanks, Mikey! I tried very hard! I see you particularly like the bed. And thank you, friends, for being with us today. I think it's time for us to go home. Yes, JJ, I think it's time to go to bed. Bye-bye. Good night to you. Thanks for watching, friends. Subscribe and like. And also, don't forget to click on the bell so that you don't miss new videos. Bye-bye.